So you've probably heard of the the inner child we have, and my understanding of the inner child is, is the most fundamental need we have as, as humans, which is really, as children, certainly it's, it's for connection. And that's a need that, you know, we're humans, we're social animals, we're designed to be in relationship. That's a need that never goes away, really, throughout the whole uh, lifespan for, for people. But it, it can become a little bit too simplistic when we think of, I have this inner child that wants connection. Because there are other needs we have within us that if they are not catered to, or they're not met, they're not validated, we run into problems. Now, one of these needs we have is the need to be lazy. And it is not a need that is talked about enough. Very few people I hear actually talk about it at all. So I see kind of part of my mission here in this life <laughs> to advocate for the inner lazy child because, you know, it has a very bad name and uh, we're all trying to get rid of our inner lazy child, which is a shame, uh, which I'll talk about here. So the question in this video, the title of this video is how do you treat your inner lazy child? The answer for most of us is we treat them terribly, you know. They are, they're like the original inner child. They, they, they are a valid emotional need to be lazy. To be lazy is a completely valid need. Now also um, productivity or what I call the, the need to take responsibility is also completely valid. But the thing is that's an inner child we're all very aware of and we give plenty of validation to. Uh, in terms of psycho, psychotherapy, we would say that we're all deeply identified with that need. We like that inner child. We, we take the side of that inner child. Now, that does not necessarily mean we are productive in our behavior. You see, the thing with something like procrastination is it's the result of, it's kind of like driving with the, the handbrake on in your car, right? You may want to be productive. You may want to meet that need for to, to, to be take responsibility and to do things. But if there's this unmet need over here, this need will become resentful to any efforts to meet this need. The longer it's unmet, the more it'll sort of hold it back. Essentially, with our emotional needs, the only real way forward with them is to see them all as valid. And your inner lazy child is one of those needs that is valid as the need to be productive or the need for anything else. So, yes, we have an inner child. In fact, we have more than one inner child. And all of these inner children are inside us. They're sort of trying to get our attention. They're trying to get some of our time and energy. But really, the thing they need most of all is to be validated. And that is to be seen as okay, not a nuisance. Now, laziness, this, this inner lazy child we have, is typically seen as the black sheep of the family. We're all trying to get rid of it and transcend it and overcome. We can find ourselves becoming what I refer to in my book on procrastination as chronic doers, where we're constantly identified with this doing and uh, productivity. And because we're... We're either thinking about it, we should be doing it, we tell ourselves, or we actually are doing it, but more often than not, we're not doing it. But we're certainly never sort of consciously saying to this inner lazy child, I really appreciate you. I see you as valid. And the thing is, once we start to give this need, this inner child, uh, this, this lazy inner child, some validation, some space to be itself, productivity comes a lot more naturally because there's less inner conflict. Ultimately, what happens with our inner needs is when we're not validating some of those needs, or all of them maybe, they're all in comp competition with each other. They're all sort of undermining each other. But once you start to see them all as equally valid, and you start to validate them all, they start to cooperate with each other, and they start to complement each other. So what happens is that the inner lazy child starts to complement and assist and help the productive inner child, you could say. And uh, they become much more willing to cooperate and share with each other. It also feels a hell of a lot better emotionally for you. You could consider yourself in all this to be the, the parent to all these inner children. 
So what I want this video to be is just a gentle reminder that with this, this inner lazy child, there's nothing wrong with it. The only thing we have to start to do is to validate it more often, to give it what it needs, but not passively, intentionally. Um, God forbid that might mean you intentionally play video games because it's a lazy thing to do. Or you might watch a movie sometime, but you do it intentionally rather than finding yourself passively watching it and feeling guilty about it. Okay. Some of those behaviors can become addictive and I'll, I'll talk about addictive behaviors more in future videos. Um, a few people have been asking me to talk more about that and I, I'm actually, uh, I'm working on that right now, but that's something that's coming. But the need for laziness should not be considered an addiction. It's a very valid, healthy need to not be in goal setting mode all the time, to switch off from that. In fact, it's an essential thing that we do for ourselves. So my goal again here is to remind you, validate that need. You know, sit down and really say, okay, there's, there's lots of things I want to do here, but how am I going to validate this need? What can I give that need to make it feel validated and unmet for myself? And see what happens to me emotionally when I do that. Do I feel, do I feel more centered? Do I feel more balanced within myself? And my feeling is that you will, you will, as soon as you start to validate that need for laziness. So guys, I hope that's a useful video. If you want to learn more about this, there's two resources. Um, one is my book on procrastination, which talks a little bit about this. And the other one is a book. It's actually a free book. You can check it out. It's on my website. And it is called Forget Happiness, which is basically a book on self-parenting, how to meet your own personal emotional needs laziness being one of those needs. I hope that's a useful video and um, I'll see you guys again very soon in the next one. Take care.